Hello everyone, this is Harsimran Singh from Lockers. Today I'm going to show you how the trust accounting works in Lockers. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to click on accounts here on the left. I currently have two accounts. If you have like a new account in Lockers, create a trust account as well as an operating account. These fields are not required, so you don't have to enter anything in them. Once you create an account, you can add money on a trust account or like in a credit account or operating account for a person or a client. So there are multiple ways to do that. You can do a direct deposit, like if you already took a check or a, or a money from them, you can directly go click on deposit, click on trust account, add an amount, select you want to add money on a client or you want to add on a matter. So Locus gives you ability, you can add trust money or credits on client as well as on matters. So if there is a client which has multiple matters, matter one and matter two, so you can put money on matter one. So I will select my client, I will say Adolf, and I will select my matter Adolf. So I'm putting $2,000 on it. You can add a note or a check. So I'm going to save it. You can also do the trust request as well as credit request. So if you click on trust request, you can create an invoice for a client so you can send it to them. And when they pay, they can pay by online, they can pay by check. When they pay, the money goes into the trust account. Also for the trust request, you have two different ways to do it. So if you select Adolf, you can select like you want to create a trust request on a client or on a matter. The moment you select a matter, you can search a matter and add trust request. So this will create an invoice so you can send it to a client. And when this invoice is paid, either paid online or paid like in the system, the money will go to the trust account. So if I go back to accounts, the same thing you can do for the credit request as well as for the operating account. So you can do a deposit. So you can say operating account, add 3000, Adolf, matter is again Adolf. So you can add a note or a check, I'm going to save it. So this will put money directly in the credit account. Other thing you can do is you can do a withdraw on both trust account and operating account. You can do a credit request similar to your trust request. The credit request creates a credit for a client or for a matter on the operating account. You can do matter to matter transfer, you can do account to account transfer. Matter to matter transfer is really useful if you have put trust money or the credit money on, on a matter one and you want to transfer it to from matter one to matter two. Account to account transfer is really useful if you want to transfer money from a trust account to operating account. So if I click on matter to matter transfer, I can select like which account. So I will say trust account. I will select my client, Jacob Sedov. See here, I have 7,000 matter balance on my matter. This one, client balance is here, so I can select move money from my client balance to my matter balances. And you can do the same thing for your account to account transfer. So if you do account to account transfer, select a client, Adolf, select a matter, see here. So you can move money from a trust account to an operating account. You can do all these operations from invoices as well. So you can click on invoices. You can do a trust request, credit request. Same thing you can do it from here as well. The trust request and credit request. And see the trust request shows up like this and the credit request shows credit here. So if you want to add a payment, let's say I have 
my I go to Adolf Jacobs, you can do all these operations from the matter itself as well. So if I go to my matter and if I go to transactions, you can add money here directly. You can do a deposit on a trust account like this. Also, you can do a deposit on the operating account as well. And if you have invoices, and if you click on invoice here, let's say, and you want to pay this invoice. So if you want to pay this invoice, if you click on more actions, if you add a payment, you see all the funds available here on the top. If you add it an invoice, the funds will show up here as well. This is everything on the trust balances and the, the credit accounts. Thank you very much.